Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is week seven. I can't believe that. So first of all, I just wanted to say thank you if this is your first time watching and thank you if this is your second or third time watching if you have already subscribed. I also want to give a shout out to Beatrice Caruso. I think that's how you pronounce her last name or the, at least the name that's on YouTube. I think that I am receiving new subscribers primarily because of her shout out. So I want to thank you so much, B. I'm truly grateful for that. So, as you can see, and maybe you can even hear the echo, I am almost done moving. I'm just gonna show you. There used to be furniture there. My bike is left. Talk about what I'm gonna do with that in a second. So let me talk about the moving experience. I think this is the longest day of my life. If I haven't burned a thousand calories moving all of this, then honestly, I don't know what is gonna do it. And I don't have a dolly. I was using a cart that the apartment provides, but somebody took the cart today, so I probably made about 10 trips that took about two hours for little tiny things, like things that I could hold in my hand. The worst thing about moving is the very end, when you find all of the things that you forgot to put in the box, the things that don't have a place. This tape dispenser thing, should I throw it away? Maybe one day I'm gonna buy tape that fits it. I bought another tape dispenser thing with tape that's a different size than that tape dispenser. One sock, one stupid sock that got lost and separated from his other sock. This pink scrunchie. I think I had this for an 80s party, but now there's this lingering question. Should I keep this pink scrunchie on the off chance that I get invited to another 80s theme party, you know, when the world goes back to normal? Or am I just gonna have to buy a new pink scrunchie? It's a dilemma, guys. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. About a thousand of these coins. Do people even use coins anymore? I saw an article this morning that said coins are becoming the new toilet paper. I didn't click it because I wasn't that interested. I think that means that people are hoarding coins now. And something really exciting just happened. I feel like I accomplished something incredible. I'm gonna show you. So you guys know those uh, memory foam pads that go on top of beds? They're the hardest to pack. So I wrapped mine in plastic wrap and then bought a vacuum sealed bag and stuffed it in there. It took me about 20 minutes. And now I'm gonna go get a shop vac and make that super small. Yeah, so that kind of took up a lot of my time. Every single day I was packing. You just never realize how much stuff you have until you move, it's, it's absurd. Because of that, I, I'm actually kind of grateful that I started the Keto Paleo Challenge. Uh, my last video, for those of you who did get a chance to watch it, I'm trying to do a modified Keto Paleo lifestyle kind of thing. I'd like to not even call it a diet. I'm really glad that I did that because I don't have to write anything down. I knew that I just had to stick to something that was pretty low carb and for me keto is the it's just so simple. You just yeah, you know what you can eat and you kind of know what you can't eat and because I'm not tracking my calories anymore, I felt like I could eat whenever I wanted, whenever I was hungry. So I was able to stick to the plan even though I was, you know, going through that emotional process of moving. I wanted to talk about just briefly something that I noticed this week. I have a hard time with transitions. As I think I've already said, I, it doesn't matter what the transition is, even if I'm transitioning into something better, which in my current situation is in fact the case. I'm moving across the country, but I'm starting my dream job. I'm leaving a town that I kind of have a bad relationship with sometimes. I get to start fresh. Granted, it is COVID and, you know, everything is kind of shut down. But at the end of the day, I'm doing something that's really wonderful. I still have a hard time with transition. I have a hard time with change. And whenever I'm going through those kind of emotions, the first place I turn to is food. So this week, I... <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, I was actually pretty impressed with myself that I wasn't giving in to that emotional, you know, stress, anxiety, 
and then turning to food, turning to carbs, I should say. I was obviously turning to food. I was eating lots of food and it was delicious. So yeah, I think that I was able to manage that well and hopefully continue that. I think it was a really, maybe a really dumb thing, but a really good thing that I kind of said to you all that I was doing a 30 day keto paleo thing. I'm doing this challenge for 30 days and I don't want to mess up. I want it to be as accurate as possible so that on July 15th, I actually have something. I think B herself actually talked about this as a science experiment. By the way, you're inside a bookshelf. I just realized that, that what you're like, what is this? This is a bookshelf that I am trying to give away, which is crazy. Why am I giving away a bookshelf? You might ask. I have so many books, <laughs> so many books, guys, so many books. I was saying that I am sticking to the plan and I'm not gonna give you guys too many details yet because I want that video on July 15th to feel like fresh, you know, with like new footage and kind of like what the process has actually been like. So for now, I'm gonna give you a weigh-in update. So there you go, guys, like there it is. Um, I was at 177, that was my plateau for for like three months and then the first week losing losing that weight I'm gonna keep doing it and and I understand that eventually I won't lose like three pounds a week It'll probably go down to maybe one or two which is kind of where I want to be anyways So this next week I am officially moved into my new place So the next video will be at someone else's house basically I am going to do my best to get back into some kind of exercise routine with this bike. So my plan for the bike. This is the last thing that I'm gonna move in my apartment. The place that I'm moving to is about five miles away. What I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm going to walk to this apartment and I am going to get the bike and I'm gonna ride it back. And that's gonna be my exercise for tomorrow. Is that all I wanna say to you guys? I also wanna say by the time I make another video, I will be a doctor. But not like a fancy doctor. I'm a doctor of the humanities and it just means that I read a lot of books. I don't really do anything practical for the world, but I make you think about your soul and I make you think about the meaning of existence and I make you think about God. It gets, it gets really intense. Hopefully I'm in a great mood. I don't think I will fail. Uh, shouldn't have said that. But I will be a doctor. All right, well, that's all I wanna say for today. I'm gonna to get back to cleaning, basically, for the rest of the evening. Hopefully I get some of my security deposit back, but you never know with these things. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next week.